I've been a data analyst for over four years now, and I am so happy I decided to get into this field. In this video, I'll tell you 10 reasons I love being a data analyst. In my last video, which I will link down in the description, I talked about all of the reasons you shouldn't become a data analyst. And after all of that negativity, I'm happy to finally talk about the good things. Data analytics is by no means a perfect job that everybody would love and be good at, but for many people like me, it's awesome. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into why you should become a data analyst. I'm gonna start with all of the career-focused reasons first, and then I'll get into all of the reasons that have to do with the work itself. The first reason you should become a data analyst is data professionals are in high demand. Sure, there is a lot of competition to land your first data analyst job especially, but every big company out there hires a ton of data analysts. So if you're willing to put in the work and become highly skilled, there are lots of jobs out there for you. The second reason is you can make an above average income. There are a lot of crazy numbers out there about how much you can make as a data analyst, but even from a more reasonable perspective, you can still make really good pay as a data analyst. It is 100% reasonable to start out somewhere between 50 and 80,000, depending on your experience and where you live. And after a few years of hard work, you could definitely break over $100,000 a year. And then once you're five or 10 years into your career as a data analyst, there are even jobs out there that pay near or above $200,000 per year. Obviously, those jobs are very demanding and there are a lot of people going for them, but they're out there. Third is workplace flexibility. Since every big company out there hires a ton of data analysts, you can work in basically any moderate to large city out there. And while remote jobs can be incredibly competitive, there still are a lot of those jobs out there. So if you work hard, you can try to snag one of those remote jobs and then work wherever you want. The fourth reason you should become a data analyst is industry flexibility. Since every company hires data analysts, that also means every industry hires data analysts. So if you have an interest in a certain industry or you have work experience in a certain industry, even if it's non-data related experience, you could definitely land a job in that industry working with that kind of data that again, you're either interested in or have experience with. Reason number five is career growth. There are lots of doors that open down the road as you're working as a data analyst. Most obviously, you could just work your way up and get really high paid data analyst jobs, but also a lot of data analysts will eventually transition to become a data scientist, a data engineer, or I've even known some data analysts that have transitioned to a different corporate career altogether. The point is there are lots of options that open for you whenever you're a data analyst. Reason number six is you get to be both technical and creative. Obviously, a big part of being a data analyst is doing technical things like writing SQL code and working in spreadsheets, but you also get to work the creative part of your brain by designing dashboards and coming up with creative solutions to problems. Personally, I have both a technical and a creative brain, so this is probably my favorite part about being a data analyst. Reason number seven you should become a data analyst is you get both alone time and time working with people. I know for me that I love to have my time alone to get my work done, but I also like to interact with people throughout the day so that way I'm happy and not just totally secluded. As a data analyst, you have to have that alone time to get your actual work done. Like you can't be in meetings writing SQL code, but then again, a big part of being a data analyst is working with stakeholders to solve problems. So you gotta have those meetings too. So if you're someone that doesn't wanna be alone all day, but also doesn't like talking to people all hours of the day, this may be a great job for you. Reason number eight is the flexibility of working from a laptop. I love that all of my work can be done on my computer and I can take it anywhere so I can work in the office, in my home office, on the couch, by the pool, or as I often do, in a coffee shop. Obviously, this applies more so to remote and hybrid jobs, but I've also had friends that have an in-person job, but if they need to be home for some specific reason, their job is pretty cool about that and just lets them bring their laptop home for the day. Reason number nine is you get to be challenged intellectually, which is good for you. I don't care what you say. If you are never challenged by your job, you're gonna get bored and burn out super quickly. And as data analysts, we have the opportunity to solve complex problems. We get to use our brain. In my opinion, this makes the work much more interesting and even sometimes fun. 
Finally, reason number 10 you should become a data analyst is you can teach yourself the skills for free or cheap online. In my opinion, every data analyst should learn SQL, Tableau, or Power BI, and Microsoft Excel. And the great thing is you can get free downloads of all of these online, and there are also a ton of great free resources online as well as cheap courses. So if you want to become a data analyst, it's super competitive to land that first job, but you can learn the skills at least without spending thousands or tens of thousands of dollars for college or an expensive boot camp. And that final reason is why I make YouTube videos like this is my goal is to increase access to free and cheap data education. So if you want to become a great data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.